Welcome to the human man's attempt at proving that not all eight editions of something are terrible. We sincerely appreciate the moment you are taking to wonder whether you actually know any eighth editions of things apart from the Harry Potter movies because that's the type of humor we appreciate over here at the Human Man Show. So you can get ready with your camera and your video. No problem to take your picture. No problem for Mr. Bush or Mr. Blair to see this one. <laughs> Our sound this week shall be taken from that laughing roster because we haven't stopped obsessing over them since Alex Muliokela's recent glow up. <laughs> Gets us every time. Off to Sanfia, a place we shall soon discover is known for more than just white sandy beaches. And that one time you almost married someone. <laughs> We wish it wasn't so, but police are wasting taxpayers' money investigating an alleged witch finder that allegedly took charms from people. I shall take a second to wait to get struck down by lightning before I say witch doctors are trash too. <laughs> police in Sanfia are investigating a case in which a witch doctor by the name of Mpanda Chishala of Maximo Village what a name. Chief Kasoma Bangwaulu is reported to have picked five people on the 21st of August, 2018. He alleged to have had possessed knowledge of practicing witchcraft, among them four females and one male, whose identity we shall withhold. They are all aged 50, 65, 80 and 82 respectively, all of Mapili village. Our first question after the initial surprise that this involves police and senior citizens would be... What exactly do they mean by picked five people? With a sorting hat? With a crystal ball? With the skull of a once rebellious child? <laughs> the Human Man Show doesn't believe in witchcraft, but if it exists, would like our millimeal covered brothers to consider how much money they would have made by using their power to save Zambia. I'm just saying, guys, you've got to be tired of living in huts by now. <laughs> Our next story is brought to life by a single headline. Socialite Iris Kaingo in a traditional outfit while going to attend the Choma Manu radio station annual musical concert in Choma. And I know it seems harmless, but that's probably because we look at it as a caption. That is truly a terrible article headline. <laughs> That headline is what you'd get if you'd ask a man that had been drilled by the corporate world to be a machine for so long what he thought about Irish potatoes. <laughs> We're back on the other side of our very first advert that was not made by ourselves. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. It's that time of the year again. Time for some fun in the sun. Put your drinks up! 96.5 Rock FM presents the biggest summer event of 2018. Rock October 18 in association with Parmalat at Munis Sports Club at Queensmead Stadium on Saturday the 29th of September for only 50 quatcha. 50 quatcha. Let's rock. 50 quatcha. Just like last year, we're going all out celebrating Zambian talent. The action starts at 12 p.m. till you rock out, bringing their local A game to the stage with their Zambezi flavors. This group will be performing live. Nasty D with Twice and Mbo Toto. Also rocking the stage with his sing-along classics. It'll be K-Million. And for the first time ever at Rocktober, we grace his highness, the Tonga Bowl, King Illis. Rocking out on deck will be the big guns. DJ Cree J, DJ Nano, DJ Boogie, Mitch the Rocking Guy, and OJ the Juice Man. Get your ticket today from Web Tickets. Visit webtickets.co.zm. Start your summer the Rocktober way. Rocktober 18 in association with Parmalot. It's the sixth edition of Rocktober, so you know the deal. Beer there. Beer there. there. <laughs> One more thing. This year, we have an after party. Where? 80s Pub and Grill in Avondale. When? The following day. Who would have thought that a podcast that Critic bothered you to listen to would probably get actual advertising in the real world in 2018? <laughs> this week, our main focus is a little campaign to educate our future leaders because, well, you know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> The Human Man Show and our good friends got together and came up with the hashtag I Gave a Book campaign. 
This is a campaign that shall also provide a solution for hoarders that are looking to get cured of that wretched sickness. <laughs> If you have any old books that have been gathering dust, all you have to do is send them to us and we shall hand these books over to the less fortunate in society. We have identified orphanages around Zambia and we are going to give these books to them every two weeks. Drop-off points for these books shall be announced in the near future and we shall finally have a way to ensure that our future generations don't have to see the things we have seen. Shout out, Cosmo Mumba. <laughs> So if you're out there and you have some books that you won't read again, whether because they're paperback or just the television has sucked the reader out of you, hand them over to us and we can get some kids reading. Also, send us a photo of you reading a book and we can share it because truly speaking, people need to see other people doing good right now. Send your pictures via WhatsApp to 0975-942-837 and let's get some of those little mucus-filled nose tights reading. <laughs> I feel like because we live in a world infested by the pests known as millennials, ugh, we have to say, please, no nudes. We spent the whole of last week looking at older women with folds of flesh being absolutely not sexy. Ew! Before we go, you're probably wondering why we chose to name the episode Sebastian Dutch vs. Cooney. Well, you might regret it because it just got a little crazier than it has ever been. Last week, when we asked Cooney what sport he would get rid of, he said he would get rid of entertainment wrestling, and a small group of people across Zambia said, Oh, hell no! <laughs> Among these people was house DJ Sebastian Dutch, who played alongside the likes of Black Coffee for the Axe Experience in Ibiza. Because we're not bougie enough to say Ibiza, because we still remember the damn Venga Boys. <laughs> I digress. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a real-life wrestling match on our hands because Sebastian Dutch got in touch and had this to say. In fact, you know what? I'm touched. Tell Kuni I'm challenging him to a WWE match. So the Human Man Show is organizing the event of the year. And the beauty of it is you get to create it yourselves. Tell us where, when, how, and we shall bring you Sebastian Dutch versus Cooney in a wrestling ring before the end of the year. Performers, get in touch. Everybody that can make this a reality, get in touch. Because it's high time we started going to shows that are actually worth the money we pay at the gate. Give us your review of this episode and your suggestions for the Sebastian Dutch vs. Cooney 2018 via voice note on 0975-942-837 and send your I gave a book pictures of you reading to the same number. The hashtag is The Human Man Show, one word, and you can also see our video on Zambezi Juice on Facebook if your bundle game is in Tfidia. Peace out as we wait for the next article that makes us say... Damn, I miss when all I had to complain about was how polymer notes were juju kaling. Thank you for being human. <laughs>